We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the New York Yankees. It's Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. Jonathan Loisega gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? You know, Matt, he's looking to bounce back for a little bit better of a performance than his last one. Pitched less than five innings in his last one, was able to come away with a no decision. I think he and his team are expecting a lot more in this one. Now at the plate, Victor Reyes. It's been a really slow Pretty start to the season for him, the as you can see number by the April numbers on Victor your screen. Reyes. Here's the first pitch to him. First of three here on this Tuesday night as the game's first offering is taken for strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've had it going the last ten games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win first last hit. time out. Yeah, Matty, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps. Line the line. This team swung the but bat as well. Gonna I'm going to be looking Harold. for that again in this one. Half throw. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Harold Castro batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. Oh, and this deflects right off him. He'll get it into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. The first this is the type of production they were expecting from this guy when he came to the majors a couple of years back. He looks really at ease at the plate, and that relaxed swing is getting some really good results. Good example on that double there. Always great to see a young player blossoming. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Cabrera, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Castro leads off second with one gun in the inning. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. Here's the one and one pitch down the third baseline but a foul ball one and two the count now swung on in the dirt strike three and he makes the throw to first Cabrera is retired two down now. That Good pitch there, and that was a the nice job baseman. by his battery mate Jonathan. to complete the play first Good. after the ball hit the dirt. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope, runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Ah. All ones the count. Come set the 0 1. Nope. That's inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Aye. A high fastball is in there. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, Dero, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. 
One left for Detroit. Tigers nothing. Yankees coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Michael Fulmer, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's Here's slightly over that, Yankees. but this guy's a better pitcher the than better that ERA field. indicates. Brett. Stepping up now, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. So guys these Tigers as they begin play here tonight they dropped another one last time out and in fact they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah Maddie, you know as well as I do we were down there today on the field this team is kind of in a little bit of malaise they need to find a way to snap out of it tough home stand only able to squeak out one win. This is a huge momentum game for this team. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Batting second. The second, here's the baseman. second baseman DJ, DJ. LeMayhew. His average coming Rob into this one is Mayhew. just barely over 200. So he'll be looking to turn the page on a slow start here. First pitch coming here it is. Ball back then. Going to be a long day if he executes like this punching tickets right out of the gate. One oh home fly ball out toward left center field Reyes will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning batting third the right fielder Aaron John so bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the former American League rookie of the year big Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here, but he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. Behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And this is still a nothing, nothing ballgame. Here's Cameron Mabin now. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ballgame. The center fielder, number four, Cameron Mabin. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A shot down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Inside ball one. Maben, who sometimes goes by the nickname Slim, he's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. All even now, two and two. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting fifth. The catcher, Austin Romine. Stepping into the box, Austin Romine. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action.
First offering on its way. Ball. Down. No score here as we play inning number two. Ball Up two. top, it's 2-0. Three oh, and oh now. Kristen Stewart waits on deck. Three oh pitch he is taken. Strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Full count still. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting, batting. So bases are empty here with two gone. Number and that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. Two out, nobody on. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number two for him on the year as the Tigers grab a one to nothing lead. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Batting it. At the plate now, Nico Goodrum. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And Boyd will take this one over to the bag, and that ends the inning. But the Tigers hit the board first on the strength of this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1-0 Detroit. Bottom of the inning now. Leading Next off. will be the Four cleanup the hitter, Gary Sanchez. He'll get to take his Gary. first cuts here. Sanchez. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. The 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two he is swung on and missed strike three. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. 
They're so Come tough on. to get the bat on, and when you've Come got that man. good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Mike Talkman. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One out, nobody on. A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly on to first, and there were two down. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Labor Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He went two for four to close out Sunday's series finale. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball one. one oh. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a yeah, fastball yeah, runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. And I'm sure that one that stings is, that a little bit. No, the best revenge he can get for his pain Number is to find nine. a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. Striding in, Gio Urshela. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. He'll go to scope at second for the force out, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Tigers one and the Yankees nothing. The next batter, Jamer Candelario, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Candelario. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Ball one. The pitch. Ball, that's out. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. The 2 0. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2 0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Now the 2 1. Is strike two swinging. Two and two. The two two. Locks him up for strike three. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. In now, Victor Reyes. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hey. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Didn't mess around much in that at bat. Dan. Up next for the no, that was pretty impressive. That I really like a pitcher that Harold. trusts and works Castro. off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Standing in now, Harold Castro. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul.
Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers, but they lead it one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Leading Tyler Wayne, the as they'll Yankees. look to get something going Not here and even stop. this game up. Tyler Wayne. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Cold strike 0 and 2. I got the count 0 and 2. Yankee shortstop behind in the count 1 and 2. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Hit down the line at first, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. Now here's the pitch. Hard hit to first. And a step on first himself for the out. No, I think he got away with one right point. there. It was a fastball right down the middle. Boy. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. And the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Voigt. Playing here in his age 29 season, he was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. The one two popped him up and there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two the center fielder number 11 Brett Gardner back to the top of the order now and up next the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. It remains 1 0. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Cabrera. He looked to bounce back after striking out Miguel. his last time up. Cabrera. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First offering on its way. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging no first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Here's Jonathan Scope now. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Heading after it is Judge. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. 
So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And boy, you can see it there. A couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. Stepping into the box, Cameron Mabin comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. And he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Here's the 0 1. One ball, one strike. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And it'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. A full count, three and two to the Tigers' center fielder. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Line drive to center field. Gartner is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, catcher, Austin Roma. Ready for another chance? Austin Romine. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the stretch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Tigers leave one, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here Next for New York, DJ LeMayhew. So far, baseball. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Love Mayhew. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No the fastball here is they'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. Swing and a fly ball right down the line and left. In comes the left fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. So digging in now, Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch to him. Counts 1 and 0. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Ground ball foul down the left side. Now the pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. High and deep to right center. Long run for the right fielder. 
He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. Catcher. Gary. Sanchez. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter. Gary Sanchez. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Now here's the pitch. Ball back outside. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far in the air out to right and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning one two three go the bombers they're on the short end of a one to nothing score next for the Tigers Kristen Stewart he'll start off the fifth in this one and hey it was a breaking ball to boot this guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Ball one to start the at bat. Chased a bad one there, one and one. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Now batting, shortstop, Nico Goodrum. Into the box now, Nico Goodrum, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Now the one and one pitch. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. One run on three hits and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Now back. Well, I can see the what he was piece. thinking. Thought he had a chance to make a play at first, but then he forced the throw and an error is the result. They got to deal with a runner on second now. At the plate, Jimer Candelario, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. In today's game, it's seeing so many guys strike out and not worry about it. I'd love to see a little two-strike approach right here. Maybe shorten up a little bit and try and force speed something the other way. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Runner at second here with one man out. fouled off a 
ball and two strikes. Here it is. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Candelario is retired. Two down now. The left fielder, number 22, Victor Reyes. So the lineup flips over and digging in Victor Reyes. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And that misses for ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Softly on a line to third. But little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. One left for Detroit. But they're on top one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, Heidi, thank you. For the Yankees. Digging no in now for the Yankees, Mike Five. Talkman. He's 0 for 1 Talk after man. grounding out in his only trip to the plate oh, no. so far. And that misses ball one. And he fouls this one off. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Now here's the pitch. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Scope has it. And that's out number one. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Torres. And maybe a little extra motivation for him here after being hit by a pitch in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared oh, right my. in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. That's a and he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. To the left side, but it's well fouled. One out, nobody on. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' DH. Gio Urshela is on deck. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Here comes the right fielder. 
He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batter, number 29. Digging in now, Gio Urshela. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Now here's the pitch. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two out, nobody on. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They're down 1-0. Next will be the designated hitter, Harold Castro. One for two, including a double Harold back in the first. Castro. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Big curveball for the strikeout there. And that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. The first baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. He's one for two in this one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hit hard on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The so he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And you can see right there that these guys rank second in the AL in that category. Next up for Detroit, Jonathan Scope. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Change up called strike one. Now a curveball, but he might have flown open a bit. It's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. Lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Here now the two two. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The federal pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Stepping in now, Cameron Maben. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. No hits to this point. The 
the 1 0. Swing and a liner. Foul. Two out here and a runner at second. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Three and one, here it is. And a full count now, three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Here's the payoff pitch. Left side. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. Leading off. We're moving Yankees. through the middle of this ball Not game right now. They want to get things Tyler. going. How about trying to get some Wade. base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. 3-1 and one to him now. third baseman will have a look at it but this is back into the seats something has to give here's the payoff pitch look out as this bat shatters on impact but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two the payoff pitch one more time left side but well foul Payoff pitch one more time. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. They haven't been able to register a now hit back. against this guy. But at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Digging in to try it again. Luke Voigt. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Strike one to start the at bat. Nobody out, runner on first. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Now the 2-1 pitch is taken, ball three. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. The 3-1 pitch. And this is foul tip, so that runs the count full now at 3-2. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. 
skied into straightaway right. Stewart will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The center fielder, number 11, Brett. Gardner. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Strike taken up in the zone. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Pitch out, nothing doing. Runner at first here, one man out. He pulls this one into right. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Yankees. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. Up next to the game. Hey, it's kind of getting late and early. That's only their first hit of the game, Love and we're into the sixth you. inning. Yeah, he, this guy's been on point all day, working it in and out. Their pitching staff obviously did their homework on this offense. But right here, able to break through with the first knock, Hopefully the pass to baton mentality goes into effect and we get some offense. A ball of no strikes. Runners are at first and third, one away. Hey. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike and it's all knotted up at one and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The 1-1. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. two With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. To second for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. They still trail 1-0. Jonathan Holder is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number 7. Number 56. Jonathan Holder. New inning set to get underway. Stepping in, Austin Romine. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The catcher, Austin Romine. First offering on its way. The 1 0. Hit out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The Not a lot you can do with that pitch. Fortune. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Kristen Stewart will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. And a cut fastball here that he started off a bit too far inside. It nearly got him. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate 
at the very Thank least, they're clearly it. trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. And it's fouled away. The payoff pitch one more time. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Digging in the switch hitter, Nico Goodrum. One for two in the ball game thus far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hold one for the count. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. Around first, he's digging for second. And he is in the second with a two-out double. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard-hit line drive. Into the box now, Jimer Candelario. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. His career numbers against this pitcher, he's one for three. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count two and one he struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle Two and one, here it is. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Judge is under it. And that ends the inning. Ladies Tigers lead one. They lead it one to nothing. Seventh inning stretch. half of the seventh here and that'll bring up go. Aaron Judge. Go for two for him to the this right point. Fielder. This thing's far Aaron. from over even though we're moving into yeah. the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line to shortstop and there's one away. Up next for the Yankees. The catcher. Gary Sanchez. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Some action now in the Tigers' bullpen as they'll get a left-hander and a right-hander up to throw. Bases are empty, one man out. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is Maben. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Home run number five on the year. And the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece.
What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Into the box, Mike now Tuckman. Back. Left fielder. Mike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Reyes is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Waver Torres. Striding forward now is the DH, Torres. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Yeah, well, when a guy How swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a I smart will. move. No reason to tempt Wade. fate out there. Digging in once again, Tyler Wade. It was a walk in his last trip. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Stewart is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Seven complete here tonight, all tied at one and one. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've hit hard and on a line. Looking at the numbers, they've had seven total line drives. And even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact Your that leads to Ws please. in the standings. Now pitching for the Yankees. All right, Heidi, thank you. Number ben 61. Heller has been summoned from ben. the bullpen as he'll do so to start Heller. the eighth. Ball set for the start of the inning, so the batting order turns over now and set to go. Victor Reyes, he could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And a ball 1 and 0. This is skied into short left center. Wade trying to get there. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The batter. Boy, he showed the some pretty good, good range heading pretty Carol deep into the outfield Cadbro. to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Now in the box, Harold Castro. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. One out, nobody on.
A ball and a strike. One and one. Pulled toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the pitch. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Left fielder looking up. And they have taken the lead. A solo shot here to left. And it's now a one-run ball game. What a great piece of clutch hitting right there to give his boys the lead. Going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition after score with only six outs to go. At the plate now, Jonathan Scope. The second base. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider Jonathan. here that finds the zone for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0 and 2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Weak rounder back to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. But the Tigers do strike for one on the solo home run by Miguel Cabrera. Home half of the eighth coming up, and Detroit's taking a two-to-one lead. Tyler Lyons is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58, Tyler Lyons. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Sliding go. into the for box, the Luke Voigt. It the was a fly out man. for him in his last Luke. trip. Boy. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. And this is up and in, ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here now the 2-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Maven on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The Final field line field there for the Detroit 11. starting pitcher. And he was really in command on the Good mound turn. throughout the evening. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Here's Brett Gardner now. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ball 
two. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Lyons, a native Texan. He was a ninth-round pick back in the 2010 first-year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Two and two count, here it comes. Fouled off. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Line to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Now batting. Time the to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter Love comparison. Baby. And the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Tying run at the plate. The 0-1. Ball, that's Fastball right. just misses. That's ball one. One and one, here it comes. Oh. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. On the ground to the right side. Scope is there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They still trail it here, two to one. Striding in to start the ninth, Cameron Maybeck, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential add-on inning now here in the ninth. Add-on gives some Austin. breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, d -Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. And you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little bit, not having to come out there with just a one-run lead. First pitch of the at bat and who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside it's nothing in one strike two swinging just out in front of the slider I know that feeling played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider.
Now the 0 2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. One and two to the Tigers catcher. A runner at first with no outs here. Still one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. The 2 2 will be a base hit in the center field. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. It's now so batter. important, Mark, to start Number to make 14. quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. Kristen Stewart is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. One pitch on its way. Look out, one and one. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Hit in the air to center field. Gardner's after it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And add a run on the sacrifice fly as that'll make this a three to one game. Now batting. Every What's team up? is looking for that insurance run late in the game. That run right there gives them a two run lead heading into the late innings. Digging in and looking for more. Nico Goodrum. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First offering on its way. Now the 0 1. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. The and batter. watching this at base. bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, the they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. In now, Jimer Candelario. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. It could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0 and 2 now. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Ready to deliver the one and two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. A run on two hits and they leave one. 
Heart of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Tigers three and the Yankees one. Your Joe Jimenez please. takes the ball now, now in inning number nine, close. looking to close the door. Number 77, Joe Jimenez. At the plate, Aaron Judge Leading hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted right in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating Judge. when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out to a deep right field. Stewart's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now batting, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. A ball and a strike. One and one. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack. But also, the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Now the one-and-one one pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Right fielder looking up. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo shot to right center as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Wow, that run in the top of the ninth is even bigger now. Without it, this thing would be tied. As it stands, though, they still have work to do to send this to extras or in this thing. This game's getting good now. Now batting, the left fielder. To the plate Mark. now, Mike Talkman. Talkman. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Now back. So he waited till the ninth hitter. inning, but he comes Way through go. here to extend the hit streak. That go was close. Back. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there? He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. Now, there's a lot of pressure on him because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there at the knees, strike one. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. One out, one on, and a one run game. Two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Yeah. Two and two. Two ball, two strikes. Two pitches fouled away. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. One out and a runner on second base. 
hit back up the middle. Scooped up. On the first in time, and the Yankees are down to their final out now. Now batting, number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. The 0-1 offering. But tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Last chance for the Yankees. And another foul ball. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. And that's going to do it as the catch is made, and the Tigers have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. 3-2 to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Tigers came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Michael Fulmer earns the win his second. Joe Jimenez wraps it up for the save, his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.